Welcome back. You're still watching Perspective, and we're still talking to Rainer Häufer from the Center for Indonesian Policy Studies. God, I keep <laughs> forgetting this thing. Um, going back to this uh, to this project in Wonosobo, I'm interested because it's a uh, it's a known fact that uh, in Wonosobo you go everywhere is potato field, and uh, it's a uh, it's a livelihood of the. So, in that case, what did you do, for example? Did you did you did you write a paper or did you hold a seminar? What it, what was? I had a long discussion with the Kabupaten government over right. there, right. and we are discussing at the moment what could be done to actually approach the the problem over there. The, so they're conscious that they are very. The government is, is conscious that this is a huge to, problem. That's right. right. They have identified this as the key problem actually, right. and now the question is how can we make farmers change their attitude so that they grow something that that maintains the soil that reduces the risk of landslides ideally forestation but mm. wood and timber takes a long time to grow so the immediate benefit is not visible to the farmers understandably or maybe a regulation to demand them to 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 plant like alternative crop at per periodic yeah you know alternate between potato and whatever i don't know yeah. what but if you have the actual benefit, the profit on the side of the potato, the farmers are very reluctant to do it. You can order them to do it. You can always have tomorrow. You have them demonstrating at the doorstep of the gov <laughs> of the government. <laughs> if you can ban, if you can ban imports, you can certainly ban planting at some points. No, you can do that, but then you run the risk of poverty right. because these people are actually living on a self subsist subsistence Sustance. level oh, and right. so this is a risky right. move to take. they wouldn't do that over there i was I, I was also interested you told me about this before when we were talking off camera but uh that this this potato beside degrading for example that the soil is also degrading the the, the cohesiveness of the society the, that's the right. gotham royong spirit that we have yeah that's right um it kind of like comes from the big policy making in the, on the national level, where mm. you talk about food self-sufficiency. Sufficiency. I heard that yesterday food, too. <laughs> food self-sufficiency has it pits for. <laughs> means it does actually, yeah, it says to the people, we want to only rely on ourselves. Right. We don't want to rely on others. Right. Fight for yourself. Right. Food security, on the other hand, is the better concept, right. so to speak, where you say everybody should have access, physical and economic, to sufficient amount of good food. Good food, yeah. But food self-sufficiency means let's not trust the others. And rely let's try to do it on our own. Exactly. And that trickles down from the national level all the way down to the households. Right. Who then are told, you will take care of Indonesia. You have to do it on your own. Mm. But then what you see is that they are actually trying to survive with this potato farming, which is mm. very, very difficult. It mm. gives them very little money. So what they do is, for example, they, they tap into the lakes to get the water for the irrigation, but they don't do it together anymore. Everybody has their own little water so pipe. So it's a very individ individualistic uh, Highly individualistic. Um, and here is the typical problem that you have, that this kind of policy making makes people care about themselves right. first before they care about others. Nobody thinks about an irrigation system for the village anymore. Right. You have a mash of different little it's pipes. It's me, it's me, you, it's me you. only. We had right. the same effect when the conditional cash transfers were introduced by the previous government. Mm -hmm. What is that? You s there were these uh, B BOS oh, and okay. the, uh, payments right. directly right. to right. the household. Right. 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 In a way, circumventing certain bureaucracies which made sense, but the problem was now that people were competing for those funds. Who is registered as particularly poor would get this? Ah, is my neighbor right. getting it? Why am I not getting it? Right, right, if my right. neighbor gets it, why should I help him next time? Because right. he gets money from the government, but right. I don't. So it has, a, uh, has an influence on the mindset. And the government over there in Wonosoba, they were particularly complaining about that mindset. They ah. go and they ask the villagers, let us sit and think what you can do alternatively to potatoes. Do right. something else. What could we do? Let's think about it they are not willing to engage because they are waiting for the different ministry officials coming from Jakarta handing them out certain things. Right. They know that a certain part of the year the Ministry of Forestry will come with seedlings and money so, so that they, they grow yeah, trees. Okay. So they just wait for that. So it kills basically the local initiatives. 
A year later, if the villagers have not grown those trees with the money that they received in the seedlings, the government has no sanctioning mechanism. They I hand see. out more money and more seedlings. So the incentive is not to do anything and wait for the handouts. And this is just one ministry. The others come as well. And the local government says, why are they not coordinating with us? Right. We're trying to grow something locally. Right, right, right. But it's, it, 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 it impacts the mindset in a negative way. But it does show how complex things are regarding a policy. How Things are extremely complex here, and you need to be very careful not to set the wrong incentives. Yeah, sure. And look at the sugar policy. It's the same coming from the self-sufficiency program. Ah. You want to help the sugarcane farmers in Indonesia, that's a noble cause, so we're talking about symbolic yeah. policies. Yeah. But at the moment, sh sugar prices in the world market mm. are going down going tremendously. Down. Right. They have halved, basically, recently. Right. This does not come across into Indonesia because there is a so severe restriction on sugar right. imports. Right. So the consumer pays more. So basically, it's always the net consumer who pays the price, and since poor households consume much more food than rich households, they are affected they are the, the most. So the poorer households are the ones that suffer from the food self-sufficiency okay. program. That needs to be... We have to break again, Understood. sorry. Uh, please stay with us, we will be back. Mm -hmm.